Robot feelings. Hey everybody, Robot Feelings here with installment number 12 of Lego Batman 2. Uh, I am Mike. I'm Harrison. And uh, we are three chat, four, including this one, four chapters away. I believe from so. Completion of the game. Uh, it's a long haul. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. No. But uh, in the end, I think it'll be good because we'll have defeated the bad guys, I hope. Yes. I hope it's not a dark twist of an end but i don't I, mean the, i don't mean to spoil this but i've played the game already um we do win oh good unless good. we fail but we do win right and failure fa failure is tough in games that you have unlimited lives in. <laughs> right <laughs> uh I, I feel like they did this beat they, already. they definitely did this uh, did i pick chapter 12 i'm pretty sure you did okay this is definitely an old bit yeah did that just is this on loop? Are we stuck? Are we? Are they... Are we getting punked? We might be stuck. Are we? Let's <laughs> wait it out. We might have to redo this. That's... Did you press Y to skip? Yeah. This that's is the, the strangest glitch I've ever seen in my this, life. Yeah. What is this, a record? How's it... What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right well we'll take it <laughs> we're leaving that in yeah <laughs> like that was so weird that was so weird oh no that was like i definitely know that was a glitch was it that it had like, i don't know I but maybe that... I don't know. That had a little glitch. Right. Weren't you a big Angry Beavers fan? <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember liking that show. I don't know if I would call myself uh, a big Angry Beavers fan. I thought fan. you were a hu huge fan. Uh, I just read an article on Mental Floss about 11... Con are we 11 controversies started by Nicktoons. Uh -oh. I don't they were on there. Okay. Um, yeah, Nick, I mean, Tomer and Sippy, they got away with some pretty raunchy stuff. Oh, goodness, yes. Okay, uh, we need to find your bat suit. Should I just start beating up these innocent bystanders? Yep, or? they deserve it. They um, they support Lex Luthor. Right. Idiots. Yeah, idiots. Um, where is your suit? Is that new? Wait, I couldn't find myself for a second. Get lost in the crowd. Uh, yeah. nope, that's Lux Luther. Okay, you know what? I want to say it's uh, up here. Uh, and I can't... Can't fly still. Uh, I guess because it's nighttime, you can't be... No, it's because I'm still poisoned by uh, radioactivity. Right. Here it is. But if the sun was out, wouldn't you... Uh, Maybe. Wouldn't it recharge your batteries, man? I don't know. I mean... They play fast and loose with uh, how superheroes' powers work in comics. That is true. I feel like that's a point lost on a lot of people who don't actually read comics. Not to sound like a snob, but I am. That's kind of one of my pet peeve things about people, like the whole big comic book movie. Uh, you don't even read the comics, man. Yeah, and it's not like I think I'm better than you for reading the comics. It's just like <laughs> you, <laughs> like there's certain subtleties that like most people don't realize like right. again like there's no definitive power set for superman like it kind of changes every single comic book right there's general guidelines but there's nothing like set in stone right speaking of comic book movies this is a this will come out maybe three weeks four weeks after the guardians of the galaxy trailer came out oh yeah yeah, yeah did you yeah, see yeah, the guardians yeah, yeah. of the galaxy trailer i did wasn't that the most amazing thing ever it was pretty crazy i'll tell you what's amazing Chris Pratt got in tremendous shape. Yes, I love the joke in Parks and Rec. He's just, um, Ben Wyatt, Adam Scott's character, goes, uh, Andy, how did you get in so much shape? And he's like, yeah, I just stopped drinking beer. He's there, it's like, that's all you did? How much, how much beer were you drinking? <laughs> um, uh, I, I have to say, though, uh, even though I, I made that snob comment earlier about uh, reading comics, when they announced the Guardians of the Galaxy, 
Never even heard of them before in my life. Oh, really? Yeah, I never heard of Guardians of the Galaxy. And I was actually a little bit pissed because I'm like, I'm usually like at least aware of the different comic book properties. Right, but now you're, you're out of the loop. Completely out of the loop. Rocket Raccoon's in it. Yeah. Uh, Groot. I am Groot. Groot. And, I mean, as a wrestling nerd, uh, one of the mo- my most... Well, a person I dislike greatly. Batista? It? Yeah. I do not like Dave Batista. He's now back in the WWE, mucking things up. He's going to be in the... Am I supposed to be up here? Yeah, you have to do that orange handle thing. Oh. Um, Oops. That's fine. Uh, side note, uh, we should probably do a video in a wrestling video game. Yes. I, I could talk about wrestling and give you so much information. That's why I want no to do it, because I was one of those people who just watched... Like I guess in the early 2000s, there was a big wrestling boom. It was the biggest period of... The the boom. Like, the like even bigger than like the 80s with like Hulkamania? Bigger stuff? than Hulkamania. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, we have to stay on those um, two buttons, I think. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, oh, that's so kinda... I watched wrestling then just because it was the popular thing to do, but I never really got into it. Right, which is why I want to do a wrestling video with you so you can like explain shit to me. Oh God, okay, I'm excited about this. Now the oh, you fucking the uh, the angle is killing me here. Do you want me to come down there? No, 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 no. I'm talking about like jumping on that one platform. Mm, mm. But uh, uh, the one question I have for you is, do you follow the independent wrestling scene at all? Yes. Really? Yeah. I used to... Son of a bitch. I used to follow much more closely. I used to go to a lot of shows in Philadelphia. Okay. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I don't get to watch a lot of it. Right. Because it's kind of expensive. Okay. Which I understand, because they have to make money. Right. And I, ref- and I won't, um, like, steal it. Yeah. But yeah, I, I follow everything that's going on. I have my favorites, and I I feel, you know, there's like a weird pride you feel that you shouldn't feel because you have nothing to do with it. Like when, oh. it, when like when a comic you like, it's a sitcom or something, you feel it like happy for them. Okay. But it's like you don't know them and they don't care. Oh, thank God. Okay. Dead. For for the people watching, um, I totally did that on purpose with Superman to make like talk more about wrestling. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. I totally wasn't failing to climb a small platform. I'm glad I'm not dead. Oh, I think I'm back as Superman. I think I'm out of the poison state. Oh, okay. So that should be pretty cool. Dead. So anyway, yeah, like I I never I I watched wrestling just because everybody else I knew was watching it. Right. But. Oh, yeah, that was what's referred to as the Attitude Era. Yes. And that was when Stone Cold and The Rock. And I think my, uh, my favorite at the time, and for I, I picked him as my favorite for no discernible reason, was um, Mick Foley. Mankind. Oh, that's a good favorite. Yeah. I read three out of his four biographies. <laughs> that's crazy that he has that many biographies. Yep. He has more than Winston Churchill. Wow. That's a joke rip, ripped directly from one of his biographies. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't make that joke myself. Okay, um, you have I to, to... There. yeah, oh, let me come back to you, sorry. Ah. Uh, I think you have to actually grab Joker's orange thing over here. Do you see on this flower? Yeah. Yeah, what do you, what do you, oh, uh, move forward, yeah, there you go. Let me take care of these bad guys. I'm dead. Yeah. What's the orange thing on the chopper for, then? I don't know. Maybe you have to do that one first? I'm gonna do that one. Okay. He I'm keeps gonna... punching me. It's cheating. Uh, hit Y. Okay, uh, probably hit X. Or B. Let me shoot. None of those are working? Uh, I'm blinding him. Oh, that's right. You have to blind him. Uh. Okay, I forgot. Look out! I forgot how this puzzle worked. And by puzzle, I mean children's game thing. Um, so now, I think... I gotta get up here. Yeah, but I think you have to go over here to get that wingsuit. Oh, jeez, Louise. Get Should I come. save the game? No, no, no. Oh, was that a joke? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Sorry. That was a call back to the previous episodes where I accidentally go in there. Like yeah, an so they idiot. Fly across the other roof. Oh. Come on, dog. Sorry. I pressed no. the joystick. Yeah. Uh, like I said uh, in another part, if, you, if you're if you on the swingsuit Batman and you press that joystick, he's just going to lose that Nose suit. dive. Yeah. Okay, uh, you're going to build a spotlight and you're going to have to blind him again. Mm -mm. Mm. Stop it. Stop it. Boom. Actually, I, sorry, I should come over to you. And let me get that. Ah, uh, okay. Where's my electricity suit? Oh, it's back with the uh, other, with the uh, on the other roof. Dookie. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. In retrospect, maybe I should have been Batman because uh, with Superman, it's pretty. <laughs> you just stand there and they can't hurt you, even if you're poisoned. It's no. pretty funny. I like being Batman. Alright, so you have to hit Y and get into that thing and then rotate it. There you go. Mm. Yes. Now that is a robot's face. That's not a human eyeball. But yeah. But still affected by light. Now it's my time to shine. Get in there. I got these guys. Mm, mm, mm. Ugh. Oh, the, the reason why I brought up the uh, independent wrestling is because um, oh, yeah. this one critic who's a, a writer for comic books also writes a lot about wrestling. Chris Sims? Yeah. I followed him because you told me to. And uh, he live tweets for all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he also talks about like all these crazy Japanese like indie wrestling things, I think. Yeah, I really I really like him a lot. Have, I... you, have you started reading his uh, Ask Chris columns on Comics Lines? No, I just follow his Twitter. On comicsalliance.com, that's where he writes. Yeah. He um, he writes, you know, articles throughout the week, but every Friday, almost every Friday, he does a um, column where you can ask him a question and he'll answer. Oh, really? Yeah. I've actually had, I think, three of my questions answered. Oh, really? That's awesome. Do you remember what they were? One was, who do you find more interesting, Green Arrow or Hawkeye? Uh, what did he say? What did he say? He said, kind of neither, but he really likes Robin Hood. Oh. Yeah. And he said that because he likes Robin Hood so much, that he, he favors Green Arrow more because Green Arrow is more intrinsically linked with Robin Hood. Right. It's more of a riff on Robin Hood. Yeah. Um, but he's not a fan of either, really. Wow. Yeah. Quick The level. other question was about continuity. Yeah. Like whether or not it's... Whether or not you should favor continuity over just storytelling. Yeah. And the other one was... I forget. Hmm. Sorry. That's all right. I, I honestly forget what it was. It was, um... It might have only been the two, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, maybe it was just the two. Anyway. All right. He he, he has uh, some pretty interesting opinions. I don't always agree with them, but he's a pretty interesting writer. Yeah. And I actually, that Comics Alliance website in general is my favorite comic book website. I actually don't watch Raw. I just li listen to him live <laughs> tweeting. That's how I get my <laughs> results. Nice. Anyway, that was fun. Yeah. Good level. That was what, 12? Yeah, number 12. Number 12. Three to go. We are pretty sure, right? Unless they're super long. Right. Unless so, I, or unless I countered wrong. Right. So three weeks and we'll be out of Batman. Um, I know you guys are loving it, but you should tell us you love it. Leave yes. us a comment, like, share, follow, retweet. We'll follow back. We'll write to you if you write to us. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm doing the outro this week because Harrison let me do it. Yeah, so. I I gave up my reign of terror and awkward <laughs> awkward announcing. No, it works. It's your shtick. <laughs> uh, so anyway, thanks again, you guys, for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.